Today I'm going to show you the wrong way of leveling your bed, but getting it right every time. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Sandtube 3D. Like always, I'm VJ, and today we're going to be talking about bed leveling. So many of you have ran into this problem. How many of you have leveled your bed five, six times just to when you go to print, your prints don't stick to the bed? And what do you do? You go to the Facebook forums and ask for help from all those wonderful people. And what do they tell you? Level your bed. But nobody really shows you. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to level your bed, but I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way that actually works. So the first thing you need to do is level your bed to the best of your abilities. Once you do this, then we can move on to how to level your bed the wrong way because we only do that because your bed leveling isn't working. So for those of you that already know how to level your bed, you can go and skip ahead to this timestamp here and you can watch how I do it the other way. Alright, so what we're going to do here is you're just going to go into your control and then turn, go to temperature and then you're going to go to nozzle. I normally print at about 205 with the filament that I'm using. So I'm going to take this up to 205. All right, once you do that, go and go to your bed. And normally I leave this at 50. Believe it or not, that actually works for me. Uh, 60, there's no need for it. So I just leave it at 50. And now we're just going to sit back and wait for the temperature to reach its destination. Now that you got your temperature to where you want it, Go ahead and remove all the filament that's in your printer. Please make sure that you guys have your bed or glass or whatever it is cleaned. There's a lot of solutions out there that you can use. Just use a regular rag, apply it on there and wipe it off. With me, since I have glass, I usually just take it to my sink and wash it out and dry it with a paper towel and then put it back and that usually works for me. That's one advantage of having glass bed, I guess. But make sure this is thoroughly clean because if you have dirt on here, no matter how well you level it, when you put the first layer of filament on, uh, the dirt's not going to let it stick to the glass and it will pop off. Make sure you go ahead and auto home it. Now while this is happening, um, go ahead and just lower the bed a little bit. That way it's loose, that way it's tightened. So what I'm looking for here is a little bit of gap between the glass and the nozzle itself. Next what we want to do is go ahead and disable our stepper so we can actually move the bed freely. So you just hit the button here, go to prepare, you're going to go down and just do disable steppers. Now for those of you that have uh, leveling assist, if you want to use it, go ahead. I prefer to do it by hand. So once you do that, if you notice right over here. I am now able to freely move my bed back and forth as I please. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the hot end to the position that I want to level it at, which is at the corner. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper, stick it between your bed and your nozzle, and just wiggle it around until you feel a little bit of tension. So right here, I moved it to the left, the wheel at the bottom, and that tightened it a little too much. So you can see when I try to push the paper in, it tends to bowl up in the middle. So then I'm going to turn it to the right which is going to loosen a little bit and I'm just going to repeat this process back and forth until I find the perfect um, place where the paper just slides in and out. So as you can see right here I got it down pretty well. Just make sure you feel a little bit of drag from the nozzle itself to where the nozzle is touching the paper and then you'll know that you have a good level. So once we've leveled this corner what we're going to do is move on to the other three. So now what we're going to do is just repeat the process on all three corners, remaining three corners. So we did the front right, back right, now we're going to do the back left. And as you can see right here, you're probably thinking, hey, I'm done, my bed is leveled. But guess what? You know when you're done. No, no, no. We got to keep going because what ends up happening is once you've leveled the bed, let's say this is your bed right here. Uh, originally you started at the right point, but since you've tightened everything else up, your bed tends to shift down at an angle. Therefore, your bed is no longer leveled again because you moved all three corners of where you're going to be leveling. So you got to repeat it over. So if you notice here, when I'm trying to stick the paper in, that part was already leveled, but it's not leveled anymore. So now it's holding onto the paper pretty tight. So what we're going to do is repeat the process all over again for all four corners. 
So once you get your first corner done, uh, you're just going to move on to the second one. Now, if you notice here, I didn't re-level it. I just put the paper in there and I pulled it. And you can see how much tension there is between the nozzle and the bed. It actually ripped the paper up. And that's one big indication that your bed is not leveled. So once you get it all leveled again, we did the second corner. We're going to do the third corner again. And this one was a little bit easier. Um, not too much moving there. So this one back left I had to do one more time now you're probably thinking you're done we're good to go we did it twice no 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 we got to do it one more time if you pay attention here okay so you can't hear it but the paper is a little bit loose like I'm not even touching the nozzle I don't feel the drag on it so at this point by the third time you should only have to make minor adjustments you can see I only turned it once there and then it's doing a little bit better and the back is actually good to go and on that side, uh, we're actually still good to go. So now we'll go back to the front and try it again one more time. So this is the fourth time I'm leveling my bed here, guys. So now that I have everything leveled, I'm going to check the middle to make sure everything is good. And as you can see, it's golden. It's good to go. Now that we have everything here leveled, now we can actually start our print. Now that I have my bed leveled, I go ahead and open up Cura, load in my model. And you go down to your settings where it says uh, bed adhesion and you're going to change that to skirt as you can see right here. So once you change it to skirt, do the skirt line count, turn it up to about 5. If you want to do 6, you can do that and I'll show you why I do this in just a minute. So you've leveled your bed, you've done your print and it's not sticking. So now I'm going to show you the wrong way of how to level your bed. But for this case, I already know my bed is leveled so if you notice at the top left and the top right, I'm going to mess up my level. I'm going to lower the bed a little more than it should be. Okay, and once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start the print and I'm going to show you how I do it. So to level your bed the wrong way, you need to physically actually start the print. Now this is where those skirt lines that we modified earlier to five are going to come into effect and play a role. So once my printer is done priming, it's actually going to go ahead and start printing the print and it's going to do five lines. It's going to go around five times basically. So if you see right there, since I already unleveled the bed, I can already move uh, the part that I screwed it just to make sure the filming is going. So now it's going to do the first layer here. And as it's printing the first layer, as you can see, I can literally just touch it with my hand and it's not sticking. So this is the wrong way of doing it, guys. I know this is not right, but when the printer is printing, uh, you basically just touch your filament of where it laid the layers down to make sure. So I already know the front's not leveled, so I'm going to go ahead and raise the bed just in the front part. So now it's doing the second layer technically. So if you notice, it's actually sticking, but on the left side, it's not. So I'm just going to grab it and just pull it right off and level the bed again as it's printing. I'm going to raise it. As you can see on the left side, I raised it. On the right side, I raised it. So now it's going to do another layer. Is printing it out. I'm going to give it some time and now I'm going to touch it and look at that. It's actually sticking to the bed no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to let it do this line and then I'm going to do let it print the next line which should be number four and I'm just going to touch it again with my finger. Now don't pick at it. Don't try to poke at it. Uh, this is just extra film and leftover. Just ignore that part guys. So if you notice when I touch the actual skirt lines that were printed um, they're sticking no problem the filament is great it's very bright black so I know that is doing it well so once it's doing that it's going to continue with the print and your print should stick to the bed word of advice always always stick around and watch the first layer get put down on your prints guys so you know that it's going to stick to the bed alright guys so this is just the bonus um, I unleveled my bed again but this time I raised the bed to the nozzle a little higher than it should be. Um, why this is going to be a problem is because if you have your bed up too high to the nozzle, it's going to try to push the filament out and it's not going to be able to do that, therefore causing minor clogs or problems down the line. So this is the first layer that I printed and I paused the print and I want you to see something here, okay? If you notice the extrusion that it did on the left hand side, the filament was very nice bright and black but if you look at the print itself the front is perfectly fine but the back where I leveled it a little too high it's where the filaments actually disappeared or is very light or very thin so that's also going to be a problem so while your printer is printing you can actually fix this on the fly as well so if you notice my back right is where I actually adjusted it to higher 
and that part uh, my filament is not coming out at all and this could cause problems down the line so this is something you can also adjust the wrong way while it's printing just go ahead and turn the wheels and you should be good to go so that's all there is to this guys the wrong way of leveling your bed alright guys before we finish up this video if you're new to the channel go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button there's a lot of useful information here if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have some questions comments if you think i did it wrong or if there's another way or i shouldn't be showing this to people that are new to 3d printing uh leave some comments down below so i can justify why i'm doing all these things now with that all said guys uh, i hope you found this helpful um of course it's not the right way of leveling your bed it is the wrong way because you shouldn't be actually touching the print while it's moving but it works it really works just remember uh if it's not if your bed's not high enough, the filament's not going to stick. Once you get it to stick, you're good to go. Now, if your bed is too high, you'll see the discoloration that I showed you on the black filament where it becomes kind of grayish or almost like borderline where you can't see it. And at that point, you have to lower your bed. So these are the two things you got to watch out for. Now, if your bed is a little high, uh, just remember you have to fix that right away because that's what causes minor clogs or a major clog in your nozzle or hot end. So with all that, guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it down below. And like always, my name is VJ. Good luck, and we'll see you next print.